So let me ask you a question. Could it be possible that EA can take on GTA 5, Assassin's Creed, and Batman as one of the best developers and publishers for open world action games? Mm. Well, that's what EA wants to do. Hey guys, what's up? It's Robbie with Open World Games, and that seems to be the case as we have an update from Electronic Arts, more specifically, Patrick Soderland, who is the executive vice president uh, of Electronic Arts. He goes on to say, if you look at the biggest segment in our industry, which is action, we don't have a lot. EA is not known to make gigantic action games like Assassin's Creed or Batman or GTA or those type of games that are really big. The strategic direction that we put in motion is to expand our portfolio more into that segment to see what we can bring to gamers that maybe hasn't been done before. Bum bum bum. So what could this mean? Oh boy. So could it mean that we could see an open world Battlefield game? Of course, there's no word about that. It sounds like Battlefield 5 is shaping up to be our standard modern warfare Battlefield type game. We'll see what happens with that. A lot of us are uh, clamoring for Bad Company 3 or 2143. Uh, but we are getting some open world games from EA, but they aren't the action genre. We are getting a racing open world game, Need for Speed. I'm extremely excited for that one. But to say that they want something like GTA, Assassin's Creed, or Batman is a huge statement. And there is very good indication as to what direction they are headed in. And it's Star Wars. So yes, EA is heavily invested for the next 10 years into Star Wars. Disney is invested into Star Wars for the next 40 years. That's insane. They have, they have movies planned every year for the next 40 years. Which is mind-blowing if you have to wrap your head around how they're developing stories and keeping it fresh for the next 40 years. Uh, so we will see what happens with that. And yes, a lot of you know I run Star Wars HQ right here on YouTube with my twin bro Ryan. We cover Star Wars Battlefront, the open world Star Wars game, Star Wars The Force Awakens, everything related to Star Wars. You can check it out in the description below. Join our amazing community. It is growing like mad. We've got a wonderful community and would love to have you guys over there. So the article moves on to make mention of EA Motive. Now you're going to want to remember this name because it's going to be a big studio in the future, trust me. Uh, this is a new studio being headed by former Ubisoft Jade Raymond. She used to work for Ubisoft on none other than Assassin's Creed. And I know a lot of you here in my Open World Games channel are big fans of Assassin's Creed. Now, she's collabing with some big names. Amy Henning, who worked on the Uncharted franchise, and Visceral Games, who brought us Dead Space and Battlefield Hardline. This is going to be a huge undertaking for EA. It sounds like several studios are involved, uh, much like what Ubisoft is doing with Assassin's Creed, and they will all collectively work together to make a massive, sprawling open world game. Oh, but to take on GTA 5, this game would have to be absolutely massive. We're talking about a feature list that is, you know, crazy because GTA 5 is the number one selling game of all time right now. It surpasses movies easily. Uh, but this game that we're talking about from EA, the Star Wars open world game, would have to have some sort of online component to really uh, take on GTA 5. We'd also have to have some sort of content creator in there. I don't think that's going to happen, of course. Realistically, yes, I do think the Star Wars game could take on Assassin's Creed and Batman, definitely, especially after we get some new fans from The Force Awakens. That movie will come out, and then, of course, Star Wars Battlefront will come out, and they'll have a huge amount of fans that are just waiting around for more Star Wars games. I'm going to be one of them, you better believe it. But, you know, it's going to be interesting to see how it fares against Assassin's Creed because in 2016, Ubisoft has their own weapon in the Assassin's Creed movie, which is going to be huge. Uh, can it survive against Star Wars? We shall see. But I do think the Assassin's Creed movie is coming out at the perfect time. Uh, but when will we see this brand new open world EA game? Very good question. So... It's likely we would see it release against another Star Wars film. At least that's what I would do if I was marketing it. You would want to piggyback off the success of a film. 
perhaps Rogue One in 2016. More than likely, it could be possible that they could be investing a huge amount of money, manpower, and time into this project. Much like uh, what uh, CD Projekt Red is doing with Cyberpunk 2077, which is rumored to be like out in 2018 or some crazy number like that. Maybe, just maybe, the same thing will be true of the Star Wars game. We will see what happens with that. Now, the article does go on to state that EA Motive will be working on something standalone after their team up with Visceral Games after the Star Wars project. So, who knows what that could be. But remember that name, EA Motive, because you will be hearing about it in the future. Uh, but there you guys have it. EA is trying to take on GTA V, Assassin's Creed, and Batman. Can they do it? Let me know what you guys would like to see from Electronic Arts. What uh, current brands you would like to see turned into an open world game. You know, they've got Crisis. They've got tons of really good IPs over there. Dead Space, that sort of thing. Would you like to see an open world Dead Space? Uh, honestly, I think it is Star Wars and it's going to be huge. I really do think it's going to be absolutely massive. And don't forget to check out Star Wars HQ to stay up to date on all things Star Wars, Star Wars Battlefront, the open world Star Wars game, Star Wars The Force Awakens, me and Ryan work on that. So we'd love to have you guys over there uh, and join our community at StarWarsHQ.com. Guys, as always, thanks for watching. I will see you later.